Or if you want to kick off and Emma, could you start recording, please? You could open. Yep, I am. Yep. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to See You Engage 2021. For those who don't know me, my name is Claire McAvena, and I am the product manager here at Wellington IT. So before we get started, there will be a Q&A session at the end, but please feel free to pop in any questions into the chat bar during the sessions, and we will answer these at the end. I'm sure you're all itching to hear the results from our national survey, which we carried out through Censuswide in early April. So uh, without further ado, I will pass you over to our content marketing specialist, Rebecca Reid, and Stephen Phillips, our business development manager, to reveal the results. Thanks for that, Claire. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. In early April, we commissioned a national survey to be carried out by independent market research company Censuswide to find out public perception of credit unions and what they expect from their financial institution. In this session today, I'm going to walk you through those results, including how the public really feel about credit unions, what would influence the public to join a credit union, how digital can play a huge role, and identify some key opportunities for credit unions. We believe that this information will be hugely valuable across your organisation to help with strategic vision, digital strategy and marketing. But first, some background on the survey itself. This survey was carried out by independent market research company Censuswide. They are specialists in conducting surveys across the globe. As with any authorised survey, there were a number of strict criteria that had to be followed. All questions must be clear and concise and not mislead the participant. Answer sets could not be leading, i.e. yes or no answers. Therefore, answers were either based on a sliding scale, for example, strongly agree to strongly disagree, or a tick all that apply option. The survey could not have a sizable difference between gender and age of recipients. Survey must have been completed by a sizable audience, for example, a thousand people or more, to be statistically viable. And all participants must remain anonymous, and research was carried out by Censuswide for impartial results. 1,001 people across the UK completed this survey. 49% of participants were male and 51% were female. 13% of respondents were aged between 16 to 24, are Generation Z. 17% of respondents were aged between 25 and 34, and 15% of respondents were aged 35 to 44, are Millennials. 17% of respondents were aged 45 to 54, are Generation X and 38% of respondents were aged 55 plus are baby boomers. As you can see, we did have some more 55 plus complete the survey than we would have liked. However, we have drilled down into the age brackets to segment results accordingly, so they're still statistically viable. Participants were surveyed across the UK, which includes England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The, la the segments you see in the pie chart are different regions. Greater London, the grey segment, and South East, the red segment, had the most respondents, which makes sense as London is the capital of the UK. We could also see their employment status to make sure we had a good pull from each, with the most having full or part-time work. We could also see what types of accounts participants had. So as you can see, most people have a traditional bank account and or a credit union account. Online banks are banks like Revolut and Monzo. We could also see their household income, as you can see in the graph on the right hand side. Most respondents had a salary between £15,000 and £45,000. All of this helped ensure that we had a statistically sound range of participants to allow us to scale the results for analysis. Now that we have that out of the way, we can jump straight into the results. As part of the survey, participants were asked a series of questions to gauge their opinion on credit unions. So let's start with those credit union members. We discovered that 53% of credit union members are satisfied with dealing with their credit union. This is higher in those who have a credit union account, but not as their main account or where they have the most money, which was 58%. <laughs> Only 12% said they disagreed with the statement. 35% said they neither agreed nor disagreed. This proves that the slight majority of your members who manage their finances with you are satisfied. We broke this down further and 53% were satisfied with dealing with their credit union in brunch, whilst 48% were satisfied with dealing with their credit union online, proving that with things like mobile apps, online loan applications and the ability to join online, credit unions can rival fintechs without compromising customer service. The key point here is how you integrate digital technology with your customer service strategy, and this needs to be incorporated into your digital strategy. 
We also discovered that 29% of former credit union members closed their credit union account due to a lack of digital services, for example, a mobile app or online banking. That's almost a third and is quite significant. It just highlights the importance of your digital offerings. And whilst digital is hugely important, don't neglect your in-branch services. As a third of former members said they closed their credit union account due to a lack of in-branch services. And remember, in-branch incorporates digital too. Think of digital signage, digital signatures, self-service kiosks, etc. Technology is an enabler to your fantastic customer service. It's not a replacement. We wanted to discover the perception that the UK public have of credit unions. Knowing this will enable you to communicate and market your services more effectively. We asked people to rank credit unions, traditional banks, online banks and building societies based on the following elements. Please note, respondents could only answer one type of financial institution as best for each category. So whilst credit unions came out with a lower number of votes, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're bottom of the pack. Only 4% cited credit unions as the most digitally enabled, 6% for best customer experience, 7% for most trusted, 7% for best customer service, 8% for best value for money, and 3% for where they expect to perform most transactions in the future. For context, traditional banks came up top in most trustworthy, which shocked us, best for customer service, best for customer experience, where people expect to do most of their transactions in the future, and best value for money. Online banks came up top in most digitally enabled, which makes sense. But we all know that this perception of credit unions just isn't true. And if you were to survey your members who know you better, this would be a lot higher, as we saw earlier with the majority 53% being satisfied with their credit union. Also, in Northern Ireland, some of these percentages were higher, with 17% saying credit unions were most trustworthy and 27% saying best value for money. But still, traditional banks came up top, which actually leads us into does the wider public know what credit unions do? Largely, no, which may explain why credit unions were not voted top in the previous elements. As you can see, 59% don't know that you offer loans, 72% don't know that you have the ability to offer current accounts, 76% don't know that you have online banking, 83% don't know that you have a mobile app, and 82% don't know that they can join their credit union online. In fact, 27% of the overall public are not aware of any of the services you offer. 54% of the people who are aware of some of your services are retired. You need the younger generations to be more aware of their local credit union and what services you offer, as they're not clear what you do, and they're your key target for borrowing. Whereas 92% of credit union members are aware of some of your services, but not all of them, as we'll see next with loans. So again, 59% of respondents don't know that credit unions offer loans, one of your key service offerings. Also, results show that only 34% of respondents who have a credit union account are aware of your loans. So 66% of your members aren't aware of your loans either. As we already know, credit unions are not sustainable if members use you as a savings club. The green bars highlight the number of those within these age groups who are aware that you offer loans. But as you can see, the gray bars are much higher. The awareness of your loan offerings typically decrease as respondents get younger. As an average, 52% of 45 and overs are not aware that you offer loans, compared to 68% of those between 16 and 44. That's a large chunk of almost three quarters of under 45s who are not aware of one of your key service offerings. Gen Z and millennials are your current key targets for loans. As you can see from the graph, the majority of the public in Northern Ireland are aware of credit unions offering loans, but this decreases in Scotland, North West England and Greater London. But there is opportunity for credit unions. 60% of people who don't know the credit unions offer loans plan on taking out a loan within the next year. This equates to 39.9 million people throughout the UK. There's an opportunity here to convert your own members and attract new members who will borrow. Current accounts are not yet the norm in the UK, with only a few credit unions offering those. The capabilities are there for credit unions to offer current accounts, but it's a bigger business decision whether you decide to go down that route. However, we did find that 72% of people are not aware that some credit unions have the ability to offer current accounts. 67% of people who aren't aware credit unions can offer current accounts plan on opening a current account within the next year. Only 24% of people know that you do online banking and only 17% know that credit unions offer a mobile app. 
In this day and age, these are very low numbers who know that you have online capabilities. Remember we said almost a third of people close their credit union account due to a lack of online services. Your digital offerings are hugely important. As you can see, Northern Ireland shows the lowest awareness of credit unions offering a mobile app at only 9%, Scotland 14%, North West England 17% and Greater London 19%. These are very low numbers, so don't assume that people know that you have a mobile app. The good news is that this survey actually made respondents more aware of your services and a quarter of respondents said they consider using their local credit union for their day to day banking needs now that they know that they can offer these services. The amount of people who said they consider their credit union for their day to day banking needs decreased as people got older, showing that more younger people, i.e. your key demographic, would consider it. On average, almost a third of these were Generation Z and Millennials. 37% were unsure, but with more information, they could also be swayed. And that's a huge 41.2 million people potentially there for the taking. So some key takeaways from this section. There's a huge opportunity to convert your existing members into carrying out more services with you, whether that's loans, opening a current account if you choose to do that, taking out an overdraft or downloading your mobile app. Not all your members are aware of the services you offer, with a striking two thirds of your members not knowing that you offer loans, the very foundation of credit unions. The wider public are not aware of the services you offer. This was very evident, particularly loans, online banking and mobile app. You need to start attracting new members, mainly Gen Z and Millennials, as they're your future and current borrowers. Millennials are likely looking at mortgages, home improvement loans, wedding loans, and Gen Z are looking at student loans, first car loans, holiday loans, and of course these other loan types in the near future. You need to communicate your loans offerings to these younger members. Credit unions have used the pandemic as a chance to adapt their offerings and become more creative. For example, marketing home improvement loans in 2020 during lockdowns and marketing holiday loans in spring 2021 when lockdowns were easing. Industrial credit unions such as police credit unions promote very tailored loan offerings to their members. For example, here's a £500 loan to buy your books, equipment, uniform. This is something community credit unions can do too. Target students with a £500 loan to purchase their books and laptop. Target parents in June with loans to help buy their kids school supplies and uniforms for the next school year. Your core system holds a wealth of information on your members, which can be analysed via CE Insight. Use these insights to help you stay relevant with your marketing. Also highlight your online capabilities and show them how convenient it is to take out a loan with their local credit union. 60% of those who don't know the credit unions offer loans plan on taking out loans within the next year. That's potentially 39.9 million people. Moving on to the next section, why would the public consider opening a credit union account? We wanted to discover what would influence the public when opening a financial account, and that's any account, not specifically a credit union. 47% cited little to no fees. 36% said online access to banking services. 34% cited trust. 33% said a local branch. 29% stated a mobile app. 27% stated ATM locations. 27% cited the customer experience I receive. 25% stated interest rates charged. And 23% said the ability to offer a great digital banking experience. We want to drill into some of these a little bit more. Drilling into the mobile app factor more granularly, we can see that the importance of this factor when opening a financial account is most important to Gen Z and Millennials. Again, your target demographics. On average, 35% of 44 year olds and under consider a mobile app as a key element when it comes to opening a new account. 38% of these were aged between 16 and 24 i.e. if the institution doesn't offer a mobile app, then they won't open an account with them. We also discovered that 27% stated that if they were receiving an excellent customer experience, the introduction of fees would not make them leave their institution. This is higher with Gen Z and Millennials, with 39% stating that the introduction of fees, so long as they had the customer experience, would not make them leave. Younger generations appreciate the value of an excellent customer experience and will repay that experience with fees if necessary. Interestingly, but not surprisingly, more credit union members agreed with this statement, showing the loyalty your membership have towards you. However, it's still important to note that 34% of the public disagreed and stated that the introduction of fees would make them switch financial institution, regardless of the customer experience they receive.
We also uncovered that 72% state 24-7 access to finances as important. Students, 83%, and people who work full-time and part-time, 79%, understandably find it the most important, as they're busy during the day and can maybe only manage their finances in the evening or at weekends. So knowing that mobile app access, online banking services, and 24-7 access to finances are important, particularly to the younger generations, what does the public expect from their financial mobile app? I.e. if you were to focus on digital, where should you focus? Firstly, the basics. The basic tasks the public expect to do from their app are transfer money, view savings, manage direct debits or standing orders, manage personal details, change passwords, manage their credit or debit cards, mobile app notifications, upload documents, apply for a current account and message your financial institution. These are the basic tasks the public want and expect to be able to carry out via their mobile app. Here's where we delve in a little bit deeper to understand how the public interact with their primary financial institution. 82% use current accounts more than once a week, with 33% using them daily. 75% use debit cards more than once a week, with a quarter using them daily. 73% use online banking at least once a week, with a third of people using it on a daily basis. 68% use their mobile banking app at least once a week, again with a third using it on a daily basis, and 35% use savings once a week. As you can see, a large amount of the public use online banking or their mobile app at least once a week, highlighting its importance to the public. Unsurprisingly, current accounts are how most people interact with their primary financial institution. So if your credit union does offer current accounts, this is a great way to try and attract new members. The ability to connect bank accounts is important to a quarter of respondents. This is highest in 16 to 44 year olds with a third in this age group. 42% would like to see all of their financial information through one app. And this is where open banking is hugely important and it will soon become the norm. You don't want to get left behind. In total, a quarter of people want to apply for a loan via their app. Almost a third of 25 to 34 year olds and 41% of 35 to 44 year olds want to apply for a loan via their app. Right now, this is your key target for loans. Are you catering to them effectively enough? And one fifth of 16 to 24 year olds want to be able to apply for a loan through their mobile app too. Also interesting to note that almost a third of 45 to 54 year olds want to be able to apply for loans through their app, proving that the slightly older generations are becoming more digitally enabled too. Interestingly, 42% of those who have a credit union account, but not as their primary account, want to apply for a loan online. There's a big opportunity here to convert your own members and encourage them to do more with you than just save. Leading us into the stat that 88% expect a loan decision within two working days or less. Almost half of the public want a loan decision instantly, 47%. Two thirds of these are millennials. If a member were to come into branch and apply for a loan, it may take 20 to 30 minutes, but you potentially could give them a decision there and then and let them know when they can expect payout. However, if they want to apply in the evening or at the weekend, they want to do it online and they want an instant decision. This can only be carried out via the ability to apply for a loan online or through their mobile app. There are companies who also provide recommended or automated decisions that could soon alert the member of their likelihood of being accepted for a loan. If your credit union could offer this service to members, they're less likely to search elsewhere. And whilst it's great to know what would make people open a financial account, it's also helpful to know what would put people off too. We wanted to understand the key frustrations that the public have with their financial institution, so credit unions can determine how to reduce these frustrations for their members. The surprising news is that 47% of people said that they had no frustrations with their primary financial institution. However, the top three frustrations are phone wait times, branch wait times, and the necessity to come into branch to carry out some services. The top frustrations within credit unions for credit union members were branch wait times, lack of online functionality, and not enough information available about financial services. Whilst there's still a need and want for in-branch banking, which we'll come to shortly, people do get frustrated by queues. There's technology to help alleviate this, such as self-service kiosks, and digital signatures at the counter. Your digital strategy needs to complement your overall strategy, which of course includes in-branch services. 
A lack of online functionality is a key frustration too. Again, a reminder from the beginning of the session where almost a third of former credit union members closed their credit union account due to a lack of online services. Not enough information available about financial services ties in with a lot of them not aware of your loan offerings or in fact really understanding what credit unions do. It also emphasises the importance of online capabilities in order to share information about products. So what do these results tell us? We understand that over a third of the younger generation are more forgiving of fees, so long as they're receiving that good customer experience. 24-7 access to finance is, imp is important to 72% of people. 24-7 access to finances can only be achieved via digital services. As we saw, mobile app access is important across the board. Mobile app access to banking services was higher in the younger ages at 37%. You need to ensure you have the technology in place whereby members can transact with you remotely. Not all members can come visit your branch every time they need to. And in fact, those who cited mobile access as important were workers, parents and students. Three very busy employment types who need access to finances outside of normal nine to five hours. A mobile app needs to perform at least those basic transactions people expect at the very least, such as transfer money, view savings and upload documents. A quarter of people want to apply for a loan via their app. Almost a third of 25 to 34 year olds and 41% of 35 to 44 year olds want to apply for a loan via their app. And people have little to no patience, with 88% expecting a loan decision in less than two working days, and 47% expecting it instantly. Instant decision making can only be achieved, achieved via a digital offering. Moving on to how digital can play a huge role. Almost half of respondents don't feel that there'll be any physical branches in 10 years time. Interestingly, this is pretty standard across all age groups, but the highest are the millennials believing this at 51%. If this is the perception of the public, they'll be looking for institutions with more digital offerings to feel that their finances are future proofed, whether banking turns totally digital or not. We already revealed earlier that 40% of 16 to 24 year olds state that any financial institution they consider joining needs to offer a mobile app and a third of millennials felt the same. So you need to focus on digital now. But just because almost half of people expect there to be no physical branches in 10 years time, that doesn't necessarily mean they'd prefer it. Yes, 33% of respondents would prefer an entirely digital banking experience, and this is substantial. This equates to 21.9 million people across the UK who would prefer a full digital banking experience. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, this was highest in Gen Z and Millennials. However, a third of 45 to 54 year olds and 28% of 55 plus year olds cited this as well. It's still very easy to think as the older generation being less experienced with technology. However, they've been exposed to digital via work, via their kids, families and friends. So digital is important to all age groups. However, almost half of people, 47%, would much prefer the combination of both a digital experience and a local branch. So despite there being a move towards digital, particularly with millennials, that doesn't take away the want for a physical branch as well. Why have people opted for a combination of both? Do they just want a physical branch there for the peace of mind that it's there, but they actually never plan on using it? Is it a trust thing? Or do they actually want to utilize your services in branch? This we don't know. However, earlier, a local branch was one of the top elements cited when it comes to opening a new account. This is something that would be really interesting to discover by interviewing your own members. And also a combination of both is the preference across all age demographics. 21% would consider using a credit union as their primary day-to-day -day financial banking institution only if they offered online banking and a mobile app. The number of participants who valued this decreased as the audience get older, suggesting again this is more important for a younger audience. 16 to 44 are your key borrowers right now, and more of them agree with this statement. Also, unsurprisingly, 38% of those who had a credit union account but closed it agreed with this. So there's an opportunity here to win back some former members. So then we wanted to discover what, what tasks people prefer to carry out digitally versus with a human. So the majority of people would rather perform these actions digitally. Check your account balance, transfer money, pay a bill, arrange direct debits or standing orders, access cash, access financial information, or increase in overdraft. 
Digital services are important to a lot of people. If a financial institution can't allow for simple transactions like the above to be carried out digitally, then consumers won't be interested in joining. The good news is that credit unions are equipped or have the technology available to them to do at least these basic transactions. When it comes to tasks people would rather do face to face, these include ask a question, arrange a mortgage, share documents, join the financial institution, take out a loan and apply for insurance. Some of these make sense. People would rather do the more important things face to face. Taking out a mortgage is no mean feat. It's the largest loan someone will take out in their lifetime, so it makes sense that they'd prefer to do this with a human. And in addition, sometimes having a question answered face to face can give you the peace of mind that you need. However, it's interesting to note that when it comes to taking out a loan, one in three people would prefer to do this digitally. On average, slightly over a third of 36% are between the ages of 16 to 44. Can you cater to this demand for the younger generations? Not only that, but on average, over a quarter, 45 and overs want to be able to take out a loan online. By enhancing your technology offerings, you aren't neglecting your older members. As we already mentioned, there's a good chunk who want online offerings too. Parents, 38% and workers, 33% were the main employment types who prefer to carry this task out digitally. Gone are the days of extending your opening hours to cater for workers. The ability to apply online can also provide your credit union with more leads. If someone was contemplating a loan on a Saturday evening, they may not want to wait until the Monday or Tuesday when a credit union is open. They could go elsewhere online. The remaining quarter of people have no preference. So by providing the ability to apply for a loan online doesn't negate the human element. This is a key message to get across to your members. They can apply online, upload all supporting documents and notes, but a human at the credit union will always be the one making the decision and they're at the end of the phone or in branch if they need to talk. Also, when it comes to joining a financial institution, almost a third of 16 to 24 year olds would prefer to do this digitally. Gen Z are your future members. You could increase new membership by catering for their preferences of online services. Your onboarding process is hugely important. If a student sees your ad for a student loan and they click on it and say, come into branch to become a member first, will they actually do that? Why do people take out extortionate payday loans from money lenders? Because they're convenient and easy to get. They're promoting things like cash ASAP and instant cash. Your onboarding process needs to be modern, quick and easy in order to attract the younger generations. Think about the online banks, onboarding via a photo upload of your ID and a liveness test to verify and just like that you've joined. It's so easy. Once people are used to doing things like this so easily, they won't want to go back to cumbersome processes. Providing online services can also help you extend your common bond as members don't have to be close to a physical branch to join. And this is, of course, even more important for industrial credit unions. So the key takeaways here, there's a strong need for digital transformation. Almost half of respondents don't currently feel that there'll be any physical branches in 10 years time. If this is the perception of the public, they'll be looking for institutions with more digital offerings to feel that their finances are future-proofed, whether banking turns totally digital or not. A third of people would prefer their banking experience to be entirely digital. People would prefer to carry out regular and basic tasks online, such as transfer money and check account balance. 36% of 16 to 44 year olds would prefer to take out a loan online and remember these are your key target for loans. One in three 16 to 24 year olds would prefer to join a financial institution digitally. Your onboarding process needs to be modern, quick, easy and digital. 47% of the public would prefer a combination of digital and in-branch banking. So despite there being that move towards digital, with, particularly with millennials, that doesn't take away the want for a physical branch. And a combination of both is preference across all age demographics. And don't forget, over a quarter, over a quarter 26% of 45 and overs want to be able to take out a loan, loan online too. The older generations are more digitally enabled than ever. Despite not growing up with technology, there's hardly any job in the world that doesn't include an element of technology and digital. Everyone is more experienced in online services than ever before. Having digital services are only half the battle. You need to market them effectively to succeed. We're hosting a session on marketing on the 23rd of June with examples from credit union marketing teams, and we highly encourage you to join this. You can register via the usual See you Engage URL. That's all the results I wanted to highlight, and I hope you find these useful. I'm now going to pass over to Stephen for our conclusion. Thank you.
Thanks, Rebecca. Can, can you see my screen OK? I can, yes. Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, absolutely delighted to be here presenting uh, these findings today with Rebecca. Um, some fascinating results in there, um, a lot of the case for digital transformation. So really the objective of my presentation is just to recap on all of the information that Rebecca has given you over the last half an hour. There's a huge opportunity for credit unions to convert that 25% of people who consider switching their local credit union for their day-to-day -day banking needs. A quarter of respondents said they would switch to their credit union for their primary day-to-day -day financial needs now that they're more aware of what services they offer. And 37% said that they were unsure, but with more information they could potentially switch. But the thing is, they don't even have to switch. They can utilize their credit union while still having one or more financial accounts. Getting people to switch completely is no mean feat, but getting them to open an account with you and borrow from you is much more achievable. However, you need to change the perception of credit unions and highlight the services you offer, as we've learned that largely the general public aren't aware of them. Key differentiator is your local branch. Almost half of people want a banking experience that is a combination of both digital banking and in-branch banking. In January 2021, HSBC said it would close 82 branches this year, and TSB and the Cooperative Bank also announced closures since the pandemic has hit. Banking branches are closing. Your local branch is a differentiator. As we know, 47%, almost half of people, would prefer a combination of both and want physical branches for larger loans. We also know that a local branch is a key influencing factor for one third of people when opening a new financial account with any institution. And remember, digital transformation doesn't just cover online, it covers in branch too. Think of digital signage, digital signatures, self-service kiosks, ATMs, these are all digital services within your physical branch. Which research found that 13,000 ATMs had disappeared in just three years across the UK. 27% stated ATM loco locations were something that they would consider when opening a new financial account. But don't forget, 45% of people don't believe there'll be any physical branches in 10 years time. So you cannot neglect digital services. This perception won't help you generate new members unless you start getting your messages out that you offer digital services. People want to future proof their finances and will only switch to financial institution who have digital services in place. Only 17% of people are aware that you offer a mobile app. And we revealed earlier that 40% of 16 to 24 year olds state that any financial institution they consider needs to offer a mobile app and a third of millenniums cite the same. You need to get these messages out into the market as best you can, including with your own members. You could potentially win back former members, those who have closed their credit union accounts due to lack of online or in branch services. There's also an opportunity to convert your existing members. 67% who already have a secondary account with you would utilize it if you offered a strong mobile digital experience. Open banking is the biggest shakeup in the financial world in a long time, but it's a huge opportunity for credit unions. 42% of the public would like to view all financials through their app, largely Gen Z and millenniums. 48% of this group have a credit union account as their main provider, so existing members would like this too. Open banking's aim is to foster competitive markets and encourage innovation. The regulations require banks to disclose performance and fee data, which will make it easier for members to compare the offerings and results of different financial providers. With a quarter of people considering using their credit union as their primary financial account for their day-to-day -day financial services, this is a massive opportunity for credit unions to own that relationship. So use this to your advantage and make the credit union account they choose. A significant 59% do not know that you offer loans, the very foundation of credit unions. And 60% of people who aren't aware credit unions offer loans actually plan on taking a loan out within the next year. 
66% of people who aren't aware that they could get a mortgage from their local credit union plan on taking out a mortgage in the next 12 months. The opportunity here is huge. Current accounts, of course, are a significant business decision and not all credit unions will adopt current accounts. However, we've discovered that current accounts are how most people interact with their primary financial institution, with 85% utilizing their current accounts at least once a week. Credit unions do have the capabilities to offer current accounts to members. The public are not aware of this. With 72% citing, they did not know that credit unions could offer current accounts. 71% of people who aren't aware that credit unions can offer current accounts again plan on opening current accounts within the next year. By offering current accounts, you are providing more choice to the public where and how they manage their finances. Digital transformation is key. Remember, a third of people want a completely digital banking experience. Promote your online and mobile app offerings. You already have these offerings available. Lead your marketing with that. And applying for a loan can be so easy with a credit union. Do people know they can apply for a loan online and get quick decisions? Incorporate this into your marketing too. Some further key stats to support digital transformation are a third of 16 to 24 year olds would prefer to join a financial institution digitally. 36% accept online access to banking services from their financial institution. A key frustration is the need to come into branch to carry out some of these services. 72% cite 24-7 access to finances as important. This can only be achieved through digital services. A quarter of people want to be able to apply for a loan via the app. A third of these are aged between 25 to 34 and 41% are aged between 34 to 44. 47%, almost half, want instant decisions on their loan applications. There's a golden opportunity here to attract consumers who do not want to bank with traditional banks anymore and convert former credit union members, as well as dormant and irregular members, to become much more active. We know anecdotally that younger people are not favourable towards the big banks. They much prefer to bank with institutions that have corporate social responsibility, just like credit unions. Take advantage of this and make sure they know your story, that they know that your community ethos, they know about your offerings, and more, impo more importantly, they know about your ethical lending. The challenge seems to be the incorrect consumer assumption that credit unions are not competitive from a digital services point of view. This is born out of the survey with only 4% of respondents believing credit unions are the most digitally enabled financial institutions. The fact, that this, the fact that this is modern credit unions offer an enviable array of banking services and digital banking apps and are very well placed to fulfill members' expectations. We know the younger generations place a lot of value in good customer experience. Many of them stating that the introduction of fees would make them leave so long as they were receiving excellent customer experience. At the start of the pandemic, when Zoom meetings were brought in, people thought this will never work long term. Look at it now. Most people don't even want to go back to the office. Truth is, with a new, more convenient way of doing something is introduced, people will not go back to how it was before. Once your members see that they can join Revolut in less than five minutes from the comfort of their home at any time, the thought of going into branch and opening an account becomes archaic. The survey shows that people demand 24-7 access to a full suite of banking services. They want to know that they can easily and conveniently manage all of their daily activities, such as online banking and bills, as well as their major financial events, including mortgages. The lack of awareness about digital capabilities of credit unions has no doubt had an impact on their ability to convert consumers to using their services. In particular, we know that younger people who tend to be tech savvy consider digital capabilities as essential offering when considering where to open their accounts. The public perception is that other institutions have better online access and can better meet their banking needs, but this is simply not the case. Credit unions must spread the word on just how digitally enabled their services are and the full range of account products that they can offer consumers. 
You need to be relevant with your marketing. Get your message right. Be smart and use the data-driven decisions. If you don't promote your ethical lending, people will go to banks or worse, money lenders for loans. Banks nowadays don't even wait for their customers to apply for a loan. They message them to say, if you apply for £2,000 now, you will be accepted and receive your money within two days. This is what you need to be competing against. Credit unions do so much for their communities and members, and there has never been a better time to stand out from the competition in this sector. I'd like to thank you all for your time. We really hope you found this session valuable, and I'm now going to pass you back over to Rebecca to open up for any questions. Thanks, Stephen. Just before we open up, sorry. Just is that a bit better? Yeah. So just before we open up the floor for any questions, I wanted to flag some of the upcoming events that we have prepared as part of CU Engage. Our CTO Ian Glenn will be leading a session on open banking on the 5th of May. We have a Q&A with Don Coulter. Don Coulter is a former CEO of Coast Capital Savings Credit Union in Canada and currently works with credit unions across Canada in his capacity as CEO of Concentra Bank. Don will be providing his unique perspective on the Canadian market and discussing how they have adapted since the pandemic hit. He'll also be discussing how the purpose of the branch is changing, which will be very interesting now that we know most people want a combination of in-branch and digital services. Definitely not one to be missed, so make sure to register for that taking place on the 11th of May. Jeff McKay, Business Development Manager of Central Liverpool Credit Union, and Paul Rooney from Constituent Consultants will be showing you how to develop your digital strategy on the 2nd of June. And on June 23rd, we have a host of brilliant credit union marketers from Health Services Staffs Credit Union, Scottish Police Credit Union, and Grundabraher Credit Union, showing you how to effectively market your digital services, which as we have seen today will be extremely important. So we hope you can make that session. You can register via the URL on the top right of the screen. And finally, we're putting together a white paper with these survey findings and much more in the coming months. So keep an eye out for that in your inbox this summer. Now we'll open the floor up to any questions. You can pop it into the chat bar or unmute your mic if you have any questions. Sounds like you've covered it all, guys. No worries. Well, I hope everyone found that useful. And thanks, everyone, for joining. We'll leave it there. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks, guys.